your snacks and grab your drinks. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It, 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 it's video game time. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Minecraft Tutorial 6853810, and I got another surprise for you today, folks. Everybody listening to the YouTube and the podcast on your podcast app, we are going to do a Loot Crate unboxing of retro video games. <laughs> so make sure you got your Mountain Dew and your pizza rolls ready, or your cheese pizza, or your chicken strips, and let's get down to business, shall we? <laughs> no, actually, sorry. This is DJ Glowing Ice for video game time, and this is a little tip um, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on how to clean old video games that you get either from a yard sale or some, you know, dirty trader that you find at some trade show or flea market or uh, whatever, you know, you, you want to play some old Nintendo games and like you buy them from people and they just don't treat them right and they're dirty and they don't work when you put them in the system. So I got a little um, idea of what you could do. Now, I, uh, before we get into that, I just want to give you an idea of like why I got back into retro games and stuff. Well, I never was in the first place besides being a kid playing video games. But, you know, as I got older, I wasn't a spoiled kid. So uh, there was a lot of games that I kind of uh, wanted to play but never got around to playing. So now that I'm older... Uh, I'm finally able to pick up some of these games. So I'm not a collector per se, but, you know, I do like to play some of the stuff I missed out on. So, um, whenever I do get these games now, 30 years later, they're quite dirty. So, um, what I did was I got a time machine and I went back 30 years and I picked up one of these bad boys. So if you're a fan of Game Boy and you're getting a lot of dirty Game Boy games and you're trying to clean them and they don't work, just go back in time 30 years or so or, you know, maybe 25 years, you'll catch them, you know, on um, clearance. And, uh, yeah, so get a cleaning kit. It's great. And that's it. Now, for those of you who don't have access to a uh, time machine, I've got another idea for you. So, it is, um, let's see, instead of the Game Boy cleaning kit like I'm showing you on the video, I have this. Here are tools are, let's grab these here, uh, a sock, preferably one that you don't care about anymore that is clean, you know, you don't want to get dirty on to dirty, so a clean old sock that you don't care about anymore. A pair of scissors, a butter knife, and this stuff called Brasso. You could find it at Lowe's or Home Depot or any kind of place like that that would, you know, be all about cleaners. It may be just in your standard cleaner aisle in the big box department stores, but the stuff is called Brasso. It's kind of on the pricey side. They're about I don't know, five to six dollars a thing. Maybe cheaper where you are, but that's where it was for me. So your first step of what you need to do is, let's move this brasso out of the way, and the butter knife is cut your sock open completely. So let's do that now. Oh, man. So, yeah, whenever you guys get out of your basement, mom's basement, and you got some dirty retro games, uh, yeah, just make the trek, borrow your mom's car, go to Home Depot, and buy yourself some Brasso. And, uh, yeah. So right now, I just made a little slit with a scissors into the sock, and you can pretty much rip it open all the way through. So you don't need to cut all the way, unless you're like very weak and you can't tear very fragile cloth. But 
You guys can do it. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Okay, so this will be the material you use to get up inside the innards of your retro game, inside the little uh, prongs in the bottom of it. And uh, I will show you how to clean your Game Boy game or your retro games in general. So uh, our first subject is Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins on Game Boy. I just got this in the mail from eBay. I've been wanting to play this forever since I've heard so many great things about it. But whenever I play it, I don't want to get uh, a screen where Nintendo is blacked out on the Game Boy saying pretty much meaning that the card is unable to play. So, what you will do is, this bottle of Brasso is kind of old because I've been using it for all kinds of things, so need to shake it up a bit. There's some nice ASMR for you. Yeah, because uh, you leave this st stuff sit around for a little bit, it gets rather watery or whatever. So how I found out about this method was I did quite a bit of Googling when I had the problem of uh, dirty cartridges that just didn't work. So, um, and I found this to be the best thing without damaging the prongs too much. Um, just to give you a little disclaimer, I'm not responsible if you don't know how to do this right or you just totally mess up your stuff. So don't come crying to me. This is a little tip. Just in case you're trying to figure out a method, this works for me. Never had a problem anyway. So you see what I did there? You do about, I don't know, a nickel size worth of Brasso. Squirt it onto your sock. Now bear in mind, this is giving off a very hardcore chemical smell. Just very potent. So do it in an aired room. Um, I'm not, but I could handle it. But if... Uh, you're very sensitive to fumes. You may want to open up a window or turn on a vent. Okay. And what you will do now is take the butter knife here and put it on the opposite side of where you put the Brasso on the other side of the sock here. And take the cartridge and you will see the prongs inside there. You will take the side that has the Brasso and just put it inside the cartridge and run it from one side to the other. And it'll clean up all of the dirt off the prongs inside the game cartridge there. And there you can see there's all kinds of dirt. That's all the dirt we picked up off of it. And what I like to do after I run the Brasso through the, the cloth with the Brasso on it is take um, a non brassoed Part of the cloth and just kind of go over it again just to pick up all the like uh, dirty like any any residue that is left off so uh, none of the brasso just kinds of like kind of dries on there i don't know see it even picks up more dirt when you go over it again so right there that is pretty much it that's all you have to do really to uh, clean your cartridge um also this works for Nintendo cartridges and any other cartridge. So I'll just show you how to do a Nintendo cartridge like a regular Famicom or NES cartridge. So Here we got a copy of Home Alone 2 lost in New York. I had a copy on Super Nintendo back in the day as a kid and I love the game even though it's almost impossible to play but uh, if you have enough time patience and nothing else to do you can beat it i believe in you so it's basically the same thing you take uh but you have two sides on an nes cartridge so you just take one side there i'm trying to get it in the light the best i can and then you just go over one side there i think i might have cleaned this one but i might as well just go over it again ah, see it's still picking up pretty much dirt and so, so I did that bottom side, then you just do the other side with another side of Brasso on it. And there you go. And now this is pretty much primed and ready to go. I'll clean this up too, clean the cartridge up, gets the leftover Brasso residue off of it. 
and we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you clean old retro games, and uh, that's the best method I have found. Don't use alcohol, don't blow in it, because blowing in cartridges does absolutely nothing. Uh, it does, you know, for the longest time I always thought it worked, but, you know, you actually maybe do a little bit of something using Brasso and actually getting in there and cleaning off the prongs on it, and it does a world of a difference. So, yeah, that is that. I am DJ Glowing Eyes for Video Game Time. That is your tip of the day on cleaning retro game stuff and making sure it plays all right guys finish up that mountain dew finish up that cheese pizza and i will see you later bye bye